So we're moving from small intestine to large intestine. In the average person, the large intestine is about three inches in diameter and about five feet long. Now it comes in three main parts and let's just start with some uh, mapping here. This tube, this little tube is actually the end of the small intestine and it enters in through here. Now that little hole down there is actually the appendix, which is a little vestibular, not vestibular, vestigial uh, leftover remnant of the the large intestine. Now, large intestine is also a synonym for colon, so we have ascending colon, transverse colon, that's the part that goes across, and then descending colon. So all of these parts are connected, and then everything exits in, back into the world through the rectum. Now, the interesting part here is that we're actually a hollow tube. So from mouth to anus is actually just a tunnel. And so all the food that you think of as being inside you is actually still on the outside of you. It's actually sort of, it's part of the protection mechanism of your digestive system. But anyway, large intestine, we've got more to explore. If you have questions, you know what to do.